I have a challenge for you. No, it's not one of these challenges like 30 days or what have you, but something that might be pretty easy to apply for you and your family. So hello everyone, my name is Sippy Livnet. I'm a nurse and a certified food addiction counselor and the creator of GPS to Sugar Free, which is a program to help people who feel like sweets and these like sweets and baked goods and junk food has taken over their life. It's how to get free from sugar addiction. But my weekly live is basically to give you some tips and um, help motivation for people who would like to limit their sugar, their sugar intake, or maybe yes, maybe detox from sugar and get free. A big thing that has a lot of people who do my workshops, GPS to Sugar Free or my GPS to Sugar Free program, um, learn about how really toxic sugar can be, especially when it is consumed in larger than very small amounts. And one of the things that they express is concern about their children or their families who maybe are eating a lot of sugar. And they say like, Tippy, what do I do about my kids? Like how... How do I get them to eat less sugar? And it's really not an easy thing today because, well, first of all, we're eating more sugar than ever, ever before, children included. And children have a much higher attraction to the sweet taste than even adults do, which is actually, you know, on an evolutionary scale, it was always a biological advantage for them that they were able to, you know, they wanted sweets even more than adults because that means that they are much more attracted to those nutritious foods because in nature when a food is sweeter then it is better for you it means it has high energy if it's bitter maybe it's poisonous but what's happened now is that the food industry has basically hijacked our food culture hijacked our taste buds and also hijacked our food supply so that today they know that children have an inherent preference for sweetness they like sweet and the sweeter, the better. You know, we as adults sometimes will say like, oh, that's too sweet for me. Like, but kids almost never say that, right? That they're like, give them more and they're really, really happy. So, well, most kids anyway. So, um, so what happens now is that because also sugar has become so cheap and it is so good at preserving food and making anything taste better, the food industry now knows how to do a lot of manipulations on the food and they have 60 different kinds of sugars, sugars that really don't exist in nature, but the food industry has created them to, and sometimes it's not even for taste. Sometimes it's just to make it more palatable, like to make it a better consistency. So it's creamier, um, all kinds of things like that, or just to, to preserve it better, but it's still sugar and our, our bodies are ingesting it as sugar. So on the one hand, I always tell my GPSers, I tell them this, I say, if you have gone on a journey to live sugar free, live free from the addictive nature of sugary, hyper processed, starchy foods, if you have decided to go on this journey to free yourself from sugar addiction, that is your journey. It is not your family's journey. It's not your children's journey, your grandchildren's journey, or your spouse's journey, or your partner's journey. It is your own. And the best way to show people how to eat in a healthy way is to do it yourself. When we model healthy eating, when we show people that, yes, it is possible to eat without added sugar, without eating junk food, eating real food, makes you lose weight and feel better. And when they see it happening on my GPSers, then they want to do it. Like, for example, I had one woman come to my workshop. My workshops are in Hebrew right now. But she came to my workshop and her, her husband lost eight kilo because, you know, he saw what she was doing and he saw how it was good for her and she was losing weight. She's lost about 12 or 15. And he said, OK, I'm going to do that, too. And he lost. Um, so a lot of times and people have told me after the workshop that their kitchen has changed, that the whole food environment in their home has changed. But on the other hand, there is something that we can do together with our family, an experiment. And I would say, don't even call it a challenge, call it an experiment and, and encourage them to make this experiment together as a family. 
seven days. I, by the way, where did I get this experiment from? I got it from this book. I have already showed you this book, Sugar Proof, by Professor Michael Goran and Emily Ventura. It's. It, I think that any parent who has children and is concerned about how much sugar they're eating should read this book. But he gave a great idea, like they gave a great idea, which is make an experiment. Seven days, a no sugar added breakfast, just breakfast. Okay, so which means eating a protein, eating a healthy carbohydrate like oatmeal, no cereals, right, with, with white flowers, eating whole wheat toast, but no cereals, no junk food, no chocolate spread on the, you know, on toast or jam or, um, or these sugary yogurts or something like that. Just real food and no added sugar. So if let's say in the oatmeal, if you want something sweet, put in whole fruit, also not dried fruit because that's already a high concentrate in sugar, but whole fruit for seven days. Anybody can do anything for seven days. Okay. But as a family, try having for seven days a non-sweetened breakfast just with healthy fats healthy proteins vegetables fruit and healthy grains and see what happens do it for a week and then have a family meeting and everybody can say what they noticed about that week one of the things that they may notice your kids and your and your family is that maybe they have better concentration during the morning. Maybe they always have this like sort of like energy down, like they need something sweet or they need to eat something around 10, 11 o'clock and suddenly they're not having that. Maybe your kids are gonna notice that they're concentrating better in school or your, your partner is concentrating better at work. Maybe um, they will just notice that they feel better, they're in a better mood in the morning than they were before. So this is a really, really interesting exper experiment you can do with your, um, you know, with your, maybe have a group of friends do it or with your family and just see if this is something that makes a difference for them. And I would love to know if this suggestion that was in this book, Sugar Proof, if this suggestion really works the way that they describe it in the book. So if you see this video, please like it comment on it and if you do the seven day no breakfast experiment or challenge call it whatever you want to call it um let me know how it goes now if you're watching this on my english youtube channel then subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so that every time my new facebook live or a new video comes out you will know about it and you'll be able to watch it so i'm really curious to see if uh, anybody hears you know if uh People who here see this video, even if you're seeing a recording of it after it's been recorded, if you've done the challenge, let me know how it goes. I'm really, really curious to know. So who is here with me? Thank you very much for giving that like, and I can't see who it is, but thumbs up, same to you. And um, pass this video on if you like it and you want to give it a try. Have a great week. Have a wonderful day. Love you guys, and I'll see you here next Sunday at 2 p.m. Israel time. Bye-bye.